The nominees for Outstanding Short Documentary are Mosul, Frontline, PBS. Heroin, Netflix. Long Shot, Netflix. Edith and Eddie meet the Press Film Festival in collaboration with AFI, NBC. The New York Times Op Docs. I have a message for you. The New York Times. And the Emmy goes to Heroin, Netflix. Accepting the Emmy, Elaine McMillian Sheldon, director, producer. A lot of people believe in town that by having naloxone more available, that it's just empowering the addicts. How, would, how do you respond to that? I've heard that so many times, because I encourage my students to come down here and get uh, qualified on naloxone, but some people aren't exactly sure if it's helping. I certainly don't uh, think that naloxone itself is enabling by, by any stretch of the manner, because a lot of them get mad because you've thrown them into withdrawals, and now they've got to go get another hit you know, to not be dope sick. Wow. Um, thank you so much to the Academy. Thanks to Amanda Pike for this, from the Center for Investigative Reporting for supporting in-depth journalism. Thank you to Jason, Zana, and Lisa at Netflix for giving short documentaries the audience they deserve. Thank you to my husband, DP, and producer, Curran Sheldon, and our families at home, um, our editor, Kristen Newtill, and our composer, composer, Daniel Hart. We mostly want to thank and recognize the three strong Appalachian women featured in our film, Heroin, who are showing what it takes to fight the opi opioid crisis. Fire Chief Jan Rader, at home watching this, for her fortitude on the front lines. Nisha Freeman, for her compassion to serve. And Judge Patricia Keller, for understanding that addiction is not a crime. These are for the unsung, unsung heroes like them all across the country, our first responders, those in long-term recovery, and those who are still suffering from substance use disorder. Thank you guys for this recognition.